a fellow by the name of Michael Snelling came up to our con and he was a curator of uh, Cairns Indigenous Art Fair and uh, he came up there for looking for an idea of what big Cairns Indigenous Art Fair can come about and and he came up to our con and he was looking for an idea of what it can be and he's standing up and looking for an idea walking around and he saw one dog went past him and, and then another dog went past him and then he clicked and then he said pack a camp dogs that's the idea he came up with yes we do have a big bond with dogs if you come up to our con you'll see dogs everywhere but in the dream time we do have stories and and markings and histories behind all the dogs some had like three legs like two legs one arm some had like one ear some had no tail some had short tail and that's a some story that we have uh in our dreaming sometimes like we have dreams probably he had a dream about like dingo with three two legs and arm and like myself had a dream of at night when you walk on the beach or, or on the on the streets of Arkon if you uh, sign a torch on a dog the eye sort of shines so I'd been doing a new work like putting marbles as eyes that shines at night yes yes and all the stories have different um dreaming but in the end it comes to one like for an instance the story goes that two male dingo chasing a big red kangaroo all the way from western australia all the way to the territory and once it came over like to where we come from the Cape Kiwi area and the two male dingoes found a female dingo and they stopped chasing the kangaroo and then they went after the female dog and again different stories but came as one yes comes to different homelands but the story then connects to one that's the bond we have as uh, related by the totems yeah well the other meaning as i said we have bond with the community a dog that we some of us owned but in our country we do have a story place like for dingoes and dancing and, and singing songs that from the dream time that our ancestors had told us we do have our own dreaming of when we uh, pass on we believe that we will turn into that particular um totem like for myself uh, i have a bush name it's called colten one of the dogs the son of the um the leader the pack um here yeah, i'm stand with the name that given to me by my ancestors or a camp dog anyone can do it but for me i have to do a dingo in the wood that we used to carve in the language we call it tanchil but in english it's milk wood that we use big job after cutting the tree down take it back to the art center and uh size it up how big or how long the dingo has to be and take out the bark and leave it out to dry let the milk dry in the sun
though in the olden days I think they just used an X uh, local sandpaper and uh, a file I think uh, there's a tree that looks like a sandpaper we in in Wick Munken we call it com it's really rough but nowadays we use like angle grinders and chisel and drill to drill the teeth holes and yeah, yes, yes. Even in town where I stay in, in Arakum, I see like a pack of dogs going down the swamp and spending the day out. And then in the afternoon, they come back in the town. Big for us and for the community.